Hey, what's up everyone? This is Bekima Ira and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have a highly requested video. As you guys can see in the title, I'm gonna be teaching you how I groom and shape my brows at home. A beginner-friendly tutorial. It's an easy and fast way to make your eyebrows on point on flick up to the guts. I hear you! You guys wanted to know how I maintain my brows. Just so you know, I always done it at home. So I'm going to solely share my personal experience as a makeup artist. I want to share this to you, my love, especially during this pandemic and there's still lockdown going on. You guys see, my brows is pretty wild, black and thick. So if I'm going to let them grow, you'll see my manly version. Hehe, <laughs> lol. Anyways, I'm so excited to show and teach you guys how I do it myself. So without further ado, let's get started. Now using this double-sided spoolie from Wishes Cosmetics, what I'd like to do first is to brush my hair downwards. So obviously you guys can see that I just have quite a bit of hair growing on the top side. I'ma brush the other side too since we're gonna measure out the upper portion of the brows just to make sure they're aligned. Now using that thread I'm just gonna slightly press it against my skin just to leave a mark so we can follow. There you go, I've created a mark pointing on the peak of the brows. Using any of your brow pencil, just leave a mark so that we can follow that line. Now I'm gonna dip into my browsings in the shade 05. I'm gonna use that just to outline the upper part of my brows. That's where I'm gonna start working. Make sure that you go along the natural lines or shape, the natural curve that it has. Alright, for this part we're gonna go tweezing. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna tweeze the excess hairs you can see above the outline just to make the shape. Guys, I've been doing this for so long but up until now I can't tolerate the pain. The one. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm just pretending that it feels nothing for you guys. <laughs> anyway, so what I'd like to do to at least numb it a little bit, I take some ice and hold it in the area where I'll go tweezing and hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds. Well, that helps me at least numb the area a little bit. Using a brush, I'm just gonna buff the fallouts to clean it up. You can use any of your brush. Now using a clean spoolie, I'm just going to brush my brows upwards to put it in place and prepare the bottom part of my brows for outlining. Diving back to my benefit browsings, I'm gonna use it to outline the bottom part of my brows. Now, I will just do the exact same thing I did on the upper part and go on the natural direction of my brows. Whatever below the outline I did is what I'm gonna tweeze. Now, when it comes to the eyebrow hair that are closest to the shape, be very careful with how you tweeze and not to go overboard because you might end up over plucked and possible you ruin the shape. I suggest you look in the mirror and check it how it looks from afar before proceeding. Now to be honest, tweezing on the lower side is much painful comparing on the top side. So just be gentle as much as possible. Pull every strand on the same direction on how it grows so it hurts less. Again, I'm going to take my brush to remove the hair fallouts. Now for the most part, tweezer helped me remove all the excess hairs but I didn't get the baby hair or the very fine one. Because of that, I'm going to use my razor. Razor will help you clean everything up and will give you a nice precision. But guys, be very very careful on using it everywhere. because. 
razor is easy to cut not just your skin but even your brows. And for the final step, I'm just gonna take a clean spoolie and brush my hair upwards. Using a smaller scissors, I will just simply cut the extra hair that's longer than needed. But be very careful to only cut the extra hair. And then I'm also going to do the same on the bottom part. Dust off the brow fallouts away to clean it up. Now, I'm taking a wet cotton buds to clean out the borders. The next step we're doing is kind of optional, but if you want to live the full fantasy, just take your favorite brow product. For this, I'm taking Mica Brow Benefit, and I'm just going to use it to fill in the gap to make it more natural. Your brow gives you so much power, confidence, and self-love. Voila, there you have it, the final look. Love it. My brows look as much natural as it should be. Give this video a thumbs up if you think it's helpful. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Love you. Mwah.